today I'm going to talk to you about some of the minimal equipment needed to start a home workout program. Um, so I've got four different workout templates, uh, two for the gym, two for at home. So if uh, right now, you know, the majority of gyms are still closed or closing again. So if working out at home is an option for you, I'm going to show you some of the staples that you're going to need to get the most benefit. So the first thing is these are called long resistance loops. So these bands you can get on Amazon. I will link them uh, in the description, um, but they come in different resistance profiles. So these are super great for pull-ups. So if you can get a pull-up bar, I know it's kind of hard to come by some of that equipment right now, but these are gonna be great to use. You're gonna put your feet in them. They're gonna give you a, a ton of help if you're not able to do a pull up or a chin up at this point. Um, the lighter resistance are super great for um, tons of different things. So um, bicep curls, overhead press, um, you can use them for uh, tricep extensions. I mean, I use these a ton. Um, you can actually wrap these around your feet to do hamstring curls. Um, I mean, these are probably the most essential item that you could have. Um, another kind of band are these little short loops. So these are really good for um, some assistance with uh, some leg uh, warm ups. Um, this is something we do often. Know, banded crab walk. So you're going to put the band on, take that big wide step. So you've got different resistance profiles with those as well. This is a super light one. Um, then you can even get a much thicker band also. You can also find these on Amazon. So these are what you're going to see a lot with the like hip thrusting. So these are going to go up higher. Um, if you try to do anything with them down here, they're just too much resistance. Like you're just not going to be able to do anything. You're getting no range of motion. So when you're doing hip thrusts, you're going to put the band right here um, and just driving your knees out. So you can even do them like with squats. This is really good if you're someone whose knees tend to cave in. Uh, this can really help get the stability um, and help you kind of cue in your mind to drive your knees out. Something else that may seem obvious, but a set of dumbbells is pretty much a necessity. Um, it'd be great if you could have um, different weights, uh, but there are modifications that can be made. You can just work with what, what you've got. So dumbbells, super important. So a bench would be great, but if you don't have a bench, um, a stability ball will be a stability ball can work just as well. So um, you'll use it like a bench and putting your back on the ball. So this is going to be when you're doing um, any kind of like chest work. Um, can definitely do some ab work with this. You're able to use it for a lot. So um, if you're able to have a bench, that would be great. But um, bands, dumbbells, Stability ball, that's all you need to get started.